of and yeah of download all the way to me here i am i believe that jesus christ that god can perfect me every particle of sin the only way the contract can work is if i say amen to it if i say let it be done And so we have in here these precious promises in 1 Peter chapter 4, uh, sorry, 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. Sorry, it's 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. Okay, verse 3 as well. According as his divine power hath given unto us, and this cross of Christ is the power of God, according to his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called you to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. So my belief, and more than my belief, but my letting, enables me to be partaker of this in reality on earth. I believe the first part of the promise, my name is written there, and I believe the second part of the promise, and the download starts. That the Holy Spirit will take of Jesus. He will take of Jesus according to John chapter 16 and verse 13 through 16, that he will take of Jesus and he will show it to us. All things the Father hath are mine, says Jesus. All things, that is, the saving health the power of an endless life, the, the Godhead bodily, the gates of heaven, all things are the Father's and they've been given to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit will take what was given to Jesus Christ and give it to us. Now, this file here of humanity... If you notice how quick Eve's mind changed, it gives evidence that the file is very small. It, Satan could put his mind straight into Eve's mind just like that. Just like split second. Very quick. And so when in the computer world, when a file is very, very small, it gets downloaded like that. And so this file of sin is only one bite. One bite of the snake. That's it. It's small. It just downloads like that. You don't have to think about it. But the way that's downloaded is the exact same way that was downloaded. Eve listened to the words of Satan and yielded to what he was saying. And when she listened and then yielded, then started the action. So here, when Jesus is saying, hear my words, my words are spirit and life, we hear the word and then what do we do? Amen. Let it be done. We submit to that. That's what God has said. Now let it be done. And as we let it be done, he starts doing the transfer. Now this file is massive. This is the... God head bodily, the throne room of God, the information in heaven is going to be put into an earthen vessel. Is that true? And as this earthen vessel has to have such an enormity, and I mean enormity of riches, because all things the Father has given to Christ, and that has been given to us. It's not just Jesus Christ's cross. It is the power of an endless life. It is going without time barriers. It's, it's having the understanding of 
the universe without end. All that has to be put into the earthen vessel. And so there is a process that it happens. And so as the download happens, there is, a, there is a, a, um, an activity bar, and that is what it says here in 2 Peter chapter 1. It says, this faith, this belief that you started with, the amen, add to that. This is faith. Add to your faith what? Virtue. To virtue what? Knowledge, to knowledge, temperance, to temperance, patience, you can excuse my spelling, patience, what is it, brotherly kindness, and love or charity. So here we are, we have an addition, a process of God taking his file that he created and all this which, he, which overcomes this, because don't forget this is our mind, and while ever my name is written in the book of life, when it comes down to earth, this still is my mind, but I believe in this promise and now God has to work. And I'm committing myself to God. And it says here in Romans chapter 12, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So what God is requiring is for us to present our bodies, our being, as a living sacrifice. In other words, do to me as you please. Is that true? If I say, Amen, let it be done, and what needs to be done incorporates my mind, my soul, and my body, then I come to God and say, let it be done. Do the work. I believe. I will let you. And what, is, what are we letting happening here? And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, this new mind that has conquered the old needs to become ours, renew it, transfer it back, like the day in Eden when it was transferred.